Okay, so this is version 18 uh, of Odoo. All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to configure email aliases. Okay, so if I just type in aliases, let's go here under alias uh, domains. So uh, email domains or alias domains, don't confuse them with um, website domains. Okay, so this is only to do with um, emails, All right? So by default, Odoo, because um, it's hosted on Odoo Cloud, uh, it creates an alias domain uh, called odoo.twisted.odoo.com, uh, which is basically the name of the system. So when I go to companies, if I choose a company, you'll see that here, uh, the email domain here, is basically coming from the same domain that is um, on the alias domains. Okay, then you'll see that the bounce email is here, the catch all is there, and the default form is notifications. Okay, so basically all of that is set up. If I go back um, to alias domains, you can see that um, the companies that are using this. Um, uh, because this system is a multi-company, all right? So all of these companies are basically using this uh, domain, all right, in the alias. Uh, the bounce, you can see it here, all right? The catch-all is um, over here and the notifications over there. So if I put maybe a one, one, one here um, and save this and I go to the company, all right, you'll see that... Um, it now has the one here, one there, and the one on the notifications. All right, but um, if, for example, let me put this as three, this is two, save that, and go to the companies, you'll see that uh, it follows the same pattern. So here on the company, you, are, you uh, this is grayed out, these three, because they are set up on the alias domains. Okay, so the three, the two, the one over here. So you cannot change it and um, update it here on the company record. You basically have to update it on the alias. So if I have a different alias, so for example, I want to put a twisted automotive over here. Uh, then I've got my bounce. Maybe let's put a four, a five, and a six over here and I save that. All right, you can see here the used in is grayed out as well because it's not linked to any company. So if I go to companies and I choose maybe this different company and I choose this domain, right? They need to actually update. So you can see the four, the five and the six here notifications, um, so which is a six. So if I save that and go back to the alias, um, let me just go back here uh, under alias domains. You can see when I choose this, it will now show it's being used in this particular company. So basically, that's how um, email aliases are linked to the companies. So as a user, depending on the company that, uh, sorry, uh, depending on the company that you are linked to, all right, so here I'm linked to all the companies, but let's say I'm only linked to this one. If I send an email, all right, from the system, basically the email will send using the default form address, which is notification six at twistedautomotive.com. All right. So an example of that is basically uh, an email. You can see that it says uh, notifications. This was uh, an email that I sent before. Uh, which is basically um, using the twisted.odoo.com uh, alias domain. But now if I send, depending on the company that I'm sending from, then it will select the actual um, email alias that I need. Um, uh, sorry, that, that is linked to this company. So basically that's the whole setup on email aliases. And I will share more on this. Um, and should you have any questions, do post on the chat. Thank you.